Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm trying some more food trailer items. Uh, today, doing hot dogs. We're gonna do hot dogs a few different ways. Try new things, try different things. Try some classics. I don't know what all is gonna happen here. We're trying to narrow down and nail down exactly what we want on the menu and these three hot dogs right here just may end up there. Now, as you see, I got a few different ingredients out here that we're gonna try just to see what kind of dogs we can make and how things are gonna turn out. The thing about the, the menu I'm gonna have on the food trailer is it's gonna be customized. If you walk up and you want a hot dog, you can tell me exactly what you want on a hot dog or we will have some that's, you know, like a kraut dog, a slaw dog, or whatever, and they're made a certain way. But if you wanna change it up, you can do that too. So I went ahead and fired up the Blackstone, got it over there heating up. Now I am gonna try something different. I'm gonna do uh, both. I'm gonna do a traditional, you know, hot dog. But I have this little device here. It's like a slot dog, but it's called a curler dog. And what this does is it cuts it on both sides and actually makes it almost like an accordion. And then what it does is increase the surface area of the hot dog itself. And there's a little more flavor in there, I guess you'd say. You'll see how that works here in just a minute. But for right now, we need to go ahead and prep up some of this stuff while that griddle's heating up. So now as you've seen in the, when I showed the ingredients, we have some bacon here. Now what I want to do is, you can do it two ways. You can go ahead and throw the bacon on the griddle, fry it up, and then chop it up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it up and let it fry into small pieces to begin with. So I got four pretty good slices here, thick sliced, hickory smoked, thick sliced bacon. And I'm just going to cut up in small pieces here because it, it's bacon. Who don't like bacon on a hot dog? So let's get all this cut up. And the sizes, whatever size you want. If you want little pieces of bacon, if you want big pieces of bacon, whatever, choice is yours. Let's now slide things around a little bit here. Let's cut open our Nathan's hot dogs here. We got the bun length. Now, let me show you how this little contraption here works. I get the package open, here we go. This thing's pretty neat. I'll leave a link in the description down below where I bought these. It's actually, that's a red one and the yellow one. The yellow one's actually a lot longer. This right here is perfect for like regular hot dogs or even bun length like we have here. So you just lay it down, take your hot dog and press it down in there. Close it up, press it, open it back up and look at there. See, it puts a kind of an accordion, I guess you'd call it. Almost a spiral cut on it. And it just adds more surface area to the hot dog. We like them like that. So let's get the rest of them. Well, I say the rest of them. I'm gonna do three of them this way and three of them not. So this will be the third one here. There we go. So I'm gonna do three hot dogs, spiral cut, I guess you say, and then three hot dogs regular, but and maybe change up toppings. We'll see how it turns out. So there's our three regular, put them on the plate. Let's over the griddle and see if it's time to start cooking. Ah, oh, we got that white smoke. Let's throw some groceries on the griddle. Let's throw down this bacon first. Now, a lot of this on the food truck will already be prepped. So, you know, like I said in previous videos about the food trailer is you want the food to come out really quick. People don't have time to wait. That's the whole reason for the food trailer. Makes it more convenient. A lot of this are to be prepped, like my onions are to be sauteed, you know, the bacon will probably be able to fry it up to, to an extent. So, a lot of things are to be done prior to cooking. And I don't care what you say, don't nothing beat the sound or the smell of bacon up on this Blackstone. Man, I love this. I could do this every day. And just like that, this bacon is done. Once you cut it up like that, it don't take this bacon long at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it way up here in this top corner. Keep it warm, finish doing what it's gonna do. Now we gotta get these dogs on y'all. I'm gonna take them, just slide them on there. Grab that all purpose seasoning. And yes, I'm gonna season the hot dogs. And roll them around in it. Get that seasoning on each side. Yeah, buddy. 
That is one thing we like to do around here is season the hot dogs. I know you don't really hear of that, but it makes them so much better. And while we're at it, grab them onions and let's saute them up a little bit too, just a little bit. Put them over here. Kind of keep them over here to the side just a little bit. Grab some of that sour kraut and let's heat it up too. I think I'll put it toward the front here just a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Sour kraut. The juice is running away to me. I want to get them hot dogs already in it. Not yet. Not yet. And let's heat up some of this barbecue also. Gotta have a barbecue dog. We'll put you back here somewhere. So in case you ain't figured it out right now, we're gonna make us a slaw dog. We're gonna make a sauerkraut dog or kraut dog as we're gonna call it. And a bacon barbecue dog. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Either way, we're gonna try these out. Control the hot dogs around a little bit here. And now hot dogs is like bacon. Let me know in the comments down below how you, do you like your hot dog burnt? Do you like it just a little, you know, done? How do you like your hot dog? Give these onions a little bit of a stir back here. Stir this crowd up just a little bit. And the barbecue too. I know people are gonna say, hey, they're just hot dogs. But when you got all this going at once, the smell is screaming more than just, hey, these are hot dogs. Another thing I wanted to show you, the difference when I use that curler dog uh, to kind of cut these dogs open compared to regular dogs, look how much more surface area you end up getting out of that hot dog. Just that much more flavor. Now, everything's almost done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast these buns, but I'm not gonna open them toast. I'm just gonna, I seen the thing CJ did, CJ Frazier, he did. He uh took the dog, kind of the hot dog buns and just kind of laid them up here flat like that. And I tried it and I was really impressed with how it turned out. And ever since then, that's how I've been doing it. Well, these buns have a nice little light toast to them. Man, them dogs are looking good. Barbecue, the bacon, the onions, the sauerkraut. It's all done, y'all. Let's build these things. So I'm gonna start by just killing the heat because I'm done cooking. Now let's just slide everything over and make room to build these things. Slide the buns over. Slide the hot dogs up here toward the front. Grab us our cutting board. And let's see. We gotta put the buns down first, don't we? So we grab our buns, just open them up. They got a nice little toast on them. A little hot too. Ooh. That's okay, that's what you want. Whew. Grab our tongs. You always gotta test your tongs, test clicks. They work. Let's lay the regular hot dogs back here in the back. Now the thing about these slot dogs are, you gotta be careful with them because they will fall apart. But they sure are good like this. There we go. Hot dogs are in the bun. Let's start building these things. Start dressing them, I guess you say. You, do you build a hot dog or do you dress the hot dog? Let me know. I think I'll make these the slaw dogs. I mean the, uh, the kraut dogs. So let's just put some sauerkraut on these back here. Like that. You know, I never have been a big fan of sauerkraut on a hot dog, but I love sauerkraut and wieners. Go figure. So let's get some barbecue on these here in the middle. Like so. A little more.
Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna put slaw. Gotta have slaw dogs. Let me know also in the comments if you like a lot of slaw or any slaw on your dogs. Not a big fan of slaw, so I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. We'll try them. Now, remember that bacon? We can't forget that bacon. And this is where I said I might need smaller pieces. But then again, you may like these big pieces on here. Don't know. Don't know. So we'll get the bacon on here. Plus, I'm going to pretty them up here in just a minute. And these onions, I almost forgot the onions, y'all. Y'all almost forgot the onions. I'm going to put a little, just a few onions on them barbecue ones. I should have done that earlier, but that's okay. We'll just kind of spread just a little bit of onion around on each one of these. Like that there. Pick up our bacon over here that fell off. We can't waste no bacon. And there they are, y'all. Let's take them over here and take a look at them. Well, these might not be the prettiest thing I've ever cooked but I do believe they're gonna be good. And like I said earlier in the video, these will be 100% customizable. You come up to the window, you tell me how you want these fixed. Some of these will be just like, you know, the basic, here's what it is. You can customize it after that. But overall, I think this is a pretty good base starting point for some hot dogs. I say we try some out. Well, all in all, I think they turned out pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little post dusting with this all purpose, just, just a little dash. There we go. Now, wasn't that simple? Like I said earlier also, a lot of this stuff will already be prepped up, be done. So it won't take quite as long. I should have these out in just a matter of minutes, honestly. But I think, like I said, it's a, it's a good starting point for a hot dog. And of course we're gonna have different kinds. There's just three of them I just thought of off the top of my head. Try to make, see how they turn out and won't be long we're going to have this food trailer on the road. Uh, hope you've been enjoying some of the updates I've been putting out for the food trailer. Uh, it's coming along where, you know, we've got a little red tape to go through with permits and stuff, and we're getting there. I mean, but the start of every business, that's what you go through. You go through the permits and the regulations and all that. And once you get that out the way, we'll be rolling. But either way, i got to have a menu made, and that's what we're working on now. And your comments, all your support, all your help, all your suggestions have been really, really helping out. I appreciate that. But for now... I can't, I can't stand here and just smell this any longer. I got to take a bite of some of them. Which one first though? Hmm. Think I'll try the barbecue one first. Barbecue. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's real good. I like that. Now I'm gonna make some homemade barbecue to put on this. They're just some I bought. For the video uh but the barbecue with the bacon and that little bit of onion along with this all-purpose seasoning on that hot dog that all beef hot dog that's gonna be hit let's try the kraut dog now with this bacon mmm whole different whole different flavor which I expected to be that's good it's real good. The bacon really, the saltiness of that bacon really adds to it with that kraut. Now, I say the one I'm not too fond of for last. This this uh the slaw dog, I guess you say. Hmm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, honestly, I like some spicy brown mustard on mine. Uh, that's just my preference. Let me know also down below. I'm actually gonna put a lot in the comments. I know. Uh, how do you? What do you want on your hot dog? How do you like your? How do you like your hot dog built? What all do you want? Give me some suggestions. I have a lot of ideas already in my head about how to build different dogs. Maybe, just maybe, you have one I haven't thought of yet. So let me know how you like to build your hot dog in order. You know, bun, hot dog whatever on top. Some people put bun, 
condiments than hot dog and whatever. I would love to know how people love their hot dogs. And that's where you come in, let me know down below. But for right now, I gotta take these inside. Let the kids try them out. See, kind of get their ideas on stuff and we'll see you next time.